Hey guys, I have decided to do a different kind of, I guess, project, but not really a project. I really wanted to join in on Brown Eyed Girl Charisse's Finish 8x8 and the Daisy Girlies Finish, uh, no, 7 Summer Flings. I have my products picked, I film my videos, and then I got to thinking, you know, uh, through the summer is the time where I wear less makeup of any time of the year, and there are just things that have been weighing on me that I want to do before I start jumping into more pro projects. I mean, I still have projects going on, but, you know, I have some products that I want to use. I want to see if I want to keep them. I mean, you know, this is just stuff I haven't used or I haven't used in a, lot, in a while or yada yada that I want to just show you in a week or two after I've tried everything out and have my opinions on everything, then I will come back and let you know what I think about it, not give full reviews, but if it's worth keeping to me personally. You know, <clears throat> okay, I just really am trying to get in the um, less is more mindset without being extreme about it. And I don't want to get rid of things just to bring more stuff in because inadvertently I'm always bringing more stuff in. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump in and let me show you what I have picked to try this time. Um, this is a Revlon Color Stay Whip Foundation. I'm pretty sure the shade I can make work. It's a medium beige. I have, I have used this before a different shade um, a year or two ago, but I don't remember how I feel about it. I want to get this and try it out and see if I want to hang on to it or not. And then the uh, Givenchy Prism Libre. It's four different uh, colored loose powders, and I I don't think I've ever used this. I really want to give it a try and see. I got it at Last Fall's VIB sale, and it. I don't know, it's really weird to me. So I don't know why I bought this, but I'm going to either love it or hate it, I guess. That's my guess, I don't know. Okay, and then I have a sample of the Benefits Do The Hula. I haven't tried this yet. I wanna try it and see how I feel about it. Um, I also have a little Becca Mini in Moonstone. I have never used this. I don't believe if I if I did I don't recall <laughs> so I want to see if this shade is one for me or not and then I have a few face palettes like this is I don't know the NARS uh, one shocking moment um, cheek palette I know I like Laguna and I have used this Paloma duo and just a time or two, you know, but what I really want to try out are these blushes. Like we're forever hearing people talk about NARS blushes and I've had orgasm and it was okay, but I really want to give these blushes a chance to see how they last on my skin, how, you know, how I feel about NARS blushes. Cause at this point, I really don't know because I've never paid attention and that's like a big deal I personally will you know just slap this on slap that on and then I forget to pay attention to how the products are working so that's I guess the point of the whole thing but yeah I know I like these but this I don't know so I really want to see how I feel about these and then I've had this for a while, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I've used up the Fawn shade, but I mean, I want to dig into these other shades. I have used them, but I don't know, you know, is it worth hanging on to for whatever else is in here? I don't know. So I want to give it a good go and see how, how I feel about it, because honestly, a lot of this stuff, I'm just tired of looking at it. I'm tired of looking around at my stuff. 
and not being like liking everything I'm seeing or not knowing how I feel about everything, you know? And then I have a Bobbi Brown um, eyeshadow palette. It's the Teddy Ride Eye Palette. And I did kind of drop this a touch and it just kind of got these two shades. Oops. Um, those two shades just kind of jacked up a bit. But I haven't used this in a long time. And from what I remember, uh, this shade right here, I really liked the Velvet Plum. But I want to dig into it, see how I feel about it. And the same thing with this uh, Physicians Formula Canyon Classic Quad. I don't know. I mean, I used it a couple times when I purchased it not that long ago, a couple months ago. And it's, but I want to give it a go. And this, I have never even touched. It's a Smashbox little full exposure. I think it was a point perk or something. I want to see if I like these, you know. And then I have these uh, Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealers. I bought one shade in it. And then I, you know, not even a week later, bought another shade in it. Because I used it once and thought I loved it. But I never reached for it. So... I want to give it a good go and see, just see. I guess I don't need to keep saying that because that's the whole point, right? Now I have some eyeliners. Um, the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Taupe. I want to check this baby out. This is a Marcel eyeliner. I don't know. It's this aqua color here. And this is not a shade that I really go for. And this is an Avon um, eyeshadow in Aqua Pop. And that's another shade that I never, never wear. So I want to see if it even looks good on me, you know. And then this is the Balms Mr. Right Now in Jack or Jacques. It's J-A-C. And I have only ever swatched this. So I want to see if it wears well, whatever, whatever. You feel me. And um, I'm going to dig into this Marc Jacobs uh, Omega Lash Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. It looks like a really good basic wand. I'm excited to give this a whirl. And then what I'm wearing on my lips right now is this MAC Vamplify in Tuned In. It's one of these, I don't know. Not a gloss, but not a liquid lipstick. Kind of a hybrid of a gloss and a li liquid lipstick. And I've only worn this a couple times. And I'm not sure if I like the color. I'm not sure if I like the formula. Who knows? But, I don't know. You know, I I'm, I'm to the point where... Even if I had to set this in a back-to-back -back bag, I would rather do that than... Keep looking at it. You know what I mean? Keep having too many things makes kind of weighing on my conscience. You know, I don't know why, you know, I get into moods and this is the kind of mood I'm in right now. And I also have a Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Nude Alert. And I bought it, but I don't even remember wearing it, to tell you the truth. So... We will see. It looks very similar to what I've got on. And then this. I know I liked this when I purchased it, but I don't remember why. It's the L'Oreal Le Mat. Uh, I don't know what this shade is. Oh, it's in. She's so matte. But I really like this when I first bought it. But now it looks really pink to me, so I don't know. I mean, it's okay for our, we, us to change what we like and don't like, you know? And our opinions are allowed to change. And I also have this um, YSL Rouge Volupt Shine in uh, the shade 20. And it's a really pretty coral. It's like a candied, candied coral shade. But I don't know that I've ever wore this and left the house. You know? So I want to see if. If I like it well enough to wear it to the grocery store or whatever, you know, if I feel comfortable wearing this shade. Because stuff can look good on camera, but in real life, 
you know, it may be a bit too much. Anyway, so that is all the things I picked out to kind of work on, play around with, and whenever I come back with another one of these videos, you will know how I feel about this, or I will know how I feel about it, <laughs> let you guys know what I decided, in or out, staying or going, <laughs> a keeper or a toss it away, I don't know, I'm just in one of them moods, and before I do a, you know, makeup sale, I really want to just have all my crap together, you know, I want to have it together, and not have to do it again, because, I don't know, you guys, you feel me, you've been in my mood, you understand, I've been cleaning stuff out lately, and it just gets to you. I hear a bird chirping. I thought it was somebody whistling. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you real soon.